Now, my next guest has made headlines with her new prosthetic leg. It's actually been made, this is quite remarkable, out of a Louis Vuitton bag. Now, I'm sure you remember this story. Shan Greenlord, she lost her leg just over six years ago. She was hit by a taxi while visiting New York. Well, that was for a new documentary about Shan. She joins me now. I remember this so vividly, my love. It was horrific. The way that you have come back from this is is remarkable. Thank you. Absolutely remarkable. Thank you. Because everything's shattered. Your whole life is, is changed in that instant. It did, yeah. I mean, I had so many plans and obviously this wasn't in my plan at all. But I have just tried to get on with things as best as I possibly could. Which is amazing, and you Thank are inspiring you. others. I Thank know you that. So much. I know you are. <laughs> you, you were, you, you and your boyfriend at the time, and went on to get married. We did, yes. yeah. You did. He's been beside you every oh, single yeah. minute. Oh yeah, he is just the most amazing person. He's always there for me yeah. when I need him. So yeah. And look at this <laughs> angel. Now I've met her. She is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. She's a beautiful girl. Absolute credit to good. both of you. Thank you. And it is, it is astonishing that you have managed somehow to get, to get over something that's so difficult. And I love your sense of humour also, because this <laughs> is, a, is a Louis Vuitton leg. It is, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how did that come about? That was I brilliant. mean, it was, it was really crazy because it actually did come to me in a dream. And it's not very often that you rem remember your dreams. No, that's true. And it's almost like in the day, you'd be like, oh, I've actually had a dream about that right, last night. It'd right. spark it. But I woke up and I was like, that was really crazy. And I, I remember speaking to my husband and he was like, you should make that happen. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, Why okay. You made everything else happen. <laughs> exactly, you yeah. as well. So it was an old handbag of yours and you took it to somebody and they, they basically, look at this. That's it, yeah. I rang my prosthetist, <laughs> Mark, and he was like, um, okay, strange request, <laughs> but we can try Why and do not? it. Because the hardest thing is because the leather was so rigid, it's almost like you have to try and contour it right. around your... Uh, wow. Around the top of it, wow. so he, uh, they did. And was a that your favourite bag, bag, or was the bag? It was actually a bag that I, I found on eBay. Right. Yeah, and it's like a vintage Louis. Vuitton. And when I got it, I didn't even want to chop it up. I thought, oh my god! <laughs> I went onto Google. I was like, really trying to find <laughs> another bag. <laughs> and you've got—I love these boots, but they're high yes. heels. They are high so heels. So you can walk in high heels with it. I with can. A, it's almost leg. like it's been. Fashion was such a huge part of who I was before. Sure. So this leg is—it's almost a tribute to myself. <laughs> I love it. I think Thank it's you. absolutely wonderful. And Thank if you, can you so do it, much. Why wouldn't you? Now, the thing about this is you're very, very optimistic. Yeah. You know, your glass is overflowing. Yeah. But it's been tough. It's been hard. It has. And one of the things that has made it particularly hard was the taxi driver involved never apologised. No. Never showed any remorse. No. At all. Nothing. And that makes it so much more difficult for you to come to terms with it. It was, because it's almost like I'd had this life-changing... Um, accident happened to me and I was only 24 at the time and for somebody of an adult and adults to be almost in control of the situation mm. not help yeah. and not show any remorse because I, well, I wouldn't have done that to anybody anyway but if I was in his position oh you'd I, be beside yourself you would you? yeah how, I don't know how you would sleep at night yes. but it's just one of the things I've really had to bury it mm. and come to terms with I'm I, you know, I didn't get that apology and move on. That's all I can do. Now, he wasn't ever charged. But no. interestingly, we got in touch with him last night, Shan, and I know that, you know, we've run this past you cause, so you know this, but yeah. he said, this is the driver, um, he said, thank you for contacting me, which we did. And here's an interesting thing. He says, I just want to, to say to her, I'm sorry. I felt bad every moment when I remember that day. And he wishes you all the best. He also says, please forgive me for that accident. I need her forgiveness. And he wants to know what you would say to that. Now, this is a, a real development because he's yeah. never said this before. No, he hasn't. Does that in any way make you feel a little bit, even a small bit better? Or how do you feel about it? I think it's really hard because it's been so long. Yep. It's almost like I've had to come to terms with the no apology. So now I'm getting it, it almost doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's apologise, I'm like, okay. Mm. And, and that's, at that's the time, it. At, at the time. At the time when you needed that to heal. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't, it wasn't there. Yeah. When I was going through all the things I was going through, mm. it, it would have, it would have, it definitely would have helped. For sure. But now I'm, I'm just in a different place in my life. Mm. And that You are. Yeah. And you're doing great work. You've got your own charity. I do. I know you talk to other people in the same I boat, do. particularly young kids. Yes. And this whole idea of, like, you know, the, the designer leg, if yeah. you like, it could be, it could be a way of other people, especially, well, young men, and young women yes. expressing themselves. Exactly. Yeah, uh, owning the, it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, a prosthetic leg is an aid. We need it to be able to move and, and walk and do anything we want to do. So why not make it creative? 
there's there's yeah. actually a, a company that does do them, Alternative Limb Project. They, you, anyone could Google that. They're amazing at what they do, but right. they're really creative. Sure. And everyone should do that. So you go in with your idea, no matter what it might be. Yeah, no matter what you wow. want to do. Yeah, and a lot of people do cover them in different ways, like sure. superheroes and yeah. you know the young kids. They're really really fun, but. Just take it a step further. Do what you've got to do. <laughs> Dan, you are an amazing woman. Thank you so much. It's been so, a joy so to talk to you. Thank Keep you. Keep doing what you're doing because I know that you've helped so, so many people. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very much.